Ever found yourself lying awake at night, your mind swirling with worries, unable to stop the endless stream of what ifs? What if you could take that energy and turn it into something beautiful, something that speaks to others in ways words never could? Today, we're diving into the powerful connection between anxiety and creativity, and how you can channel your worries into artistic expression. 1. The link between anxiety and creativity. Anxiety and creativity, two seemingly opposite forces that often coexist in the minds of some of the most renowned artists, writers, and musicians. But why is that? Why do so many creative minds also struggle with anxiety? The truth is, anxiety and creativity are more closely linked than you might think. Anxiety often comes from an overactive mind, one that's constantly processing, analyzing, and imagining. This mental activity, while overwhelming at times, is also the birthplace of creativity. Your brain, always searching for solutions and ways to express itself, can take that anxious energy and transform it into something tangible. Whether it's a painting, a poem, a song, or even a dance. 2. Historical Examples of Anxiety Fueling Creativity Let's take a look at some famous examples. Vincent van Gogh, one of the most celebrated painters in history, struggled with intense bouts of anxiety and depression throughout his life. Yet these emotions fueled his creativity, leading to masterpieces like The Starry Night. The swirling skies and vibrant colors in his paintings reflect the turmoil within, yet they also captivate and inspire millions. Sylvia Plath, the brilliant poet and author, used her writing as an outlet for her deep-seated anxieties. Her works, filled with raw emotion and vivid imagery, continue to resonate with readers today, offering a window into the complexities of the human mind. And then there's Edvard Munch, whose iconic painting The Scream is practically synonymous with anxiety itself. Munch once said, I was walking along the road with two friends when the sun set. Suddenly the sky turned as red as blood. I stopped and leaned against the fence, feeling unspeakably tired. I sensed a great, infinite scream pass through nature. That painting is a powerful visual representation of anxiety, an emotion that Munch channeled into his art. 3. The Science Behind Anxiety and Creativity Now let's dive into the science of it. Why does anxiety often fuel creativity? It all comes down to the brain. Anxiety activates the amygdala, the part of your brain responsible for the fight or flight response. This heightened state of alertness can also activate the brain's creative centers, particularly in the right hemisphere, which is associated with imagination, intuition, and artistic expression. When you're anxious, your brain is searching for solutions to perceived threats. This problem-solving process can spill over into creative thinking, leading you to explore new ideas, perspectives, and forms of expression. In a way, anxiety can act as a catalyst for creativity, pushing you to find ways to cope, communicate, and connect with the world around you. 4. How to channel anxiety into artistic expression So, how can you harness this anxious energy and turn it into something creative? Here are a few strategies to help you channel your anxiety into artistic expression. 1. Embrace the messiness. Creativity isn't about perfection. It's about expression. Don't be afraid to let your work be a little messy, a little chaotic. Your anxiety might make you feel like everything needs to be under control, but when it comes to art, the messier the better. Let your emotions flow freely onto the page, canvas, or whatever medium you choose. 2. Create a safe space. Designate a space in your home where you feel comfortable creating. It could be a corner of your room with a sketch pad and some pencils, a desk where you write, or a spot on the floor where you can dance. This space should be free of judgment and expectations, a place where you can express yourself without fear. 3. Use your anxiety as a theme. Many artists find that their best work comes from their deepest emotions. Instead of trying to push your anxiety away, invite it into your creative process. Write about it, paint it, sculpt it. By giving your anxiety a voice, you not only create powerful art, but also gain a deeper understanding of yourself. 4. Set small, manageable goals. Anxiety can make you feel overwhelmed by big projects. Break your creative work into smaller, more manageable tasks. 
Instead of writing an entire novel, start with a short story. Instead of painting a large canvas, begin with a small sketch. These smaller steps can help you build momentum and reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed. 5. Don't judge your work. Remember, the goal is not to create a masterpiece, but to express yourself. Your art doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be you. Allow yourself to create without judgment, and over time you might be surprised at how your anxiety transforms into something beautiful. 5. The Therapeutic Benefits of Art Art isn't just a way to express anxiety, it's also a powerful therapeutic tool. Studies have shown that engaging in creative activities can significantly reduce stress and anxiety levels. Here's why. When you're creating art, your focus shifts from your worries to the task at hand. This mindfulness, being fully present in the moment, can help calm your mind and reduce the physiological symptoms of anxiety, like a racing heart or shallow breathing. Art also allows you to externalize your emotions. Instead of keeping your anxiety bottled up inside, you're putting it out into the world in a tangible form. This can provide a sense of relief and release, helping you process your feelings in a healthy way. Additionally, creating art can boost your self-esteem. Completing a project, whether it's a painting, a poem, or a piece of music, gives you a sense of accomplishment. This can counteract the feelings of inadequacy or self-doubt that often accompany anxiety. Whether you're painting, writing, dancing, or playing music, the act of creation itself is a form of self-care. It's a way to take control of your emotions, to give them shape and form, and to find beauty in the midst of chaos. 6. Practical Tips for Getting Started If you're ready to start channeling your anxiety into creativity, here are some practical tips to help you get started. 1. Choose your medium. Think about what form of art resonates with you the most. Are you drawn to painting, writing, music, or something else? There's no right or wrong answer, just go with what feels natural. 2. Set up your space. Find a quiet, comfortable place where you can create without distractions. This doesn't have to be a dedicated studio, just a space where you feel relaxed and focused. 3. Start small. If you're feeling anxious about starting, keep it simple. Set a timer for 10 minutes and just let yourself create without any pressure. You can always expand later, but for now, just focus on getting started. 4. Be consistent. Try to incorporate creative time into your routine, even if it's just a few minutes each day. Consistency is key to making creativity a regular part of your life and a reliable outlet for your anxiety. 5. Reflect on your work. After you've finished a piece, take some time to reflect on what you've created. How did it make you feel? What did you learn about yourself in the process? This reflection can be just as valuable as the act of creating itself. Creativity isn't just a way to manage anxiety. It's a way to embrace life in all its complexity. By channeling your worries into artistic expression, you're not only finding a way to cope, but also creating something meaningful and beautiful out of your experiences. Remember, the creative journey is just that, a journey. It's not about the end result, but about the process of exploring, experimenting, and expressing yourself. So the next time you're feeling anxious, pick up a paintbrush, a pen, or a musical instrument, and let your creativity guide you through. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of anxiety and creativity. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe for more insights on mental health and creative living. Until next time, keep creating and stay balanced.